Welcome to the iROM Model Builder tutorial series. In this video we show how to use the Sketcher interface. In contrast to the command-based approach discussed earlier, we now use a simpler and more intuitive graphical approach for model generation. The following example explains all the steps which are necessary to create an accelerometer model that is known from previous tutorials. Click on the Sketcher icon to load the user interface. First steps are defining the thickness of the functional layer. The material properties. The model grid size. And the default spring width. Then we start with a quarter model of the mass body. The mass body is assembled from three rectangular shape elements. The size and location of each rectangle can be modified by mouse manipulation or in the Properties tab. In a next step we define a quarter model of the anchor. Anchors must be identified by a zero body reference number and should be visualized by a different color for better graphical representations. Suspension springs can be defined by a series of straight or curved lines. We start at the gray anchor, define two connecting points in the open space, and finish the folded beam on the orange mass body. Then we change the beam width at the center bar from 4 to 7 microns to get a higher stiffness. We will also change the default beam width to the same number. And we adjust the grid size to 2 microns for further design steps. The new grid size is necessary to perfectly align the outer edges of the springs with the anchor block in the orange mass block. Then we add another spring element to the folded bar at the top right end. The travel range can be limited by a circular or rectangular stopper element. The stopper will be attached to mass body number 1 and the stopper radius is changed from 4 to 3 micrometers. Now we transfer the current model elements from the sketcher interface to the model builder environment. Geometrical dimensions can be checked twice and the 3D models can be visualized from different directions. In a next step, we mirror all model elements around the y-axis of the coordinate system. Then we add a comb cell of type, area variation, from our component library. We attach the comb cell at the center of the top edge and adjust a few parameters as the number of fingers and the width of the anchor block. Then, we mirror all elements around the horizontal axis. And finally, we increase the stiffness in transverse directions by adding two connecting bars between the upper and lower springs. Now we check the model again and transfer all data to the model builder environment. At the end of the modeling process, we assign several master nodes for results evaluation. And we create a perforation pattern for release etching of the sacrificial layer. The spacing, hole dimensions and the number of pattern elements can be adjusted accordingly to create evenly distributed holes over the seismic mass. The model will be saved and exported to the model builder environment. In the Process Parameters window tab of the Model Builder, Corner Roundings, the Mask Undercut and Etch Sidewall Slope parameters can be assigned. Click Build Solids to update the model. Now
Now you can create a simulation model and perform a modal analysis. The first eigenfrequency is around 17 kHz and higher order modes start at around 27 kHz. This video showed a few features of the Sketcher interface. You can find more details in our user manuals or you test own examples with our free trial version. Hope you enjoyed this video.